I'm Trent Palmer, I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. What is up guys? It's 6 a.m. on a beautiful Tuesday morning. The other day I got word that a bunch of the Red Bluff guys are flying up to Jeff's cabin on the Salmon River up in Idaho, deep in the wilderness, only accessible by plane or jet boat. Sounded like too good a time to pass up, so let's fly to Idaho. some service. Yeah, I gotta get rid of some weight. Yeah. Just got to Burns, linked up with the guys. We're still waiting on a few more. Timing was perfect though. I think I, I entered the pattern right before Jake and Tyler, which I couldn't have timed that We better. were within minutes. All right, so Joe finally made it. You guys probably remember Joe from the Monster Cub if you haven't seen that video. I'll link it up there. But uh, on his way over, he started having alternator problems and was not making power. So his battery died, lost radio. He landed somewhere out wherever to try to diagnose, couldn't figure it out. So we're gonna take a look and see if we can figure out this electrical issue. Oh, it feels really good, that plug right oh. now. I think it's plugged in. I uh, got it. That looks like a fuse. It's all right, sounds like it was just a fuse on Joe's plane, so his alternator's making power now. Get back in the air, heading to McCall. Welcome to beautiful McCall. Looks like there's like a storm moving in, but I have actually never been up here, and this whole area is so bitching, and it snowed. I guess the snow level was down to like 4,000 feet the other day, so. It's like quite a stark contrast to the desert and where we came from. So, sounds like Jeff's is just up the next like couple canyons up and then we'll be in the Frank Church wilderness. Just made it to Jake's private little strip. They've actually got, I don't know, four or five cabins out here. It's a trip. These walls, I mean, they gotta be two, 3,000 feet on all sides. I know that we were at 8,000 feet coming into here and I think we're at 2,500, so rad. Beautiful morning and check this out. Check out that layer of fog rolling around the corner. This one's from Post Falls, Idaho. I honestly don't think you can beat this. I'm looking at a, a few elk up there, just grazing the hillside. I guess he's got wolves and bears too that come down chasing the elk, which would be pretty awesome to see, but not a bad place to have your coffee. And while I sit here and enjoy my coffee, it's probably an appropriate time for me to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Trade. 
Now, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I don't love going to the grocery store, especially in the current climate and how busy and crazy and hectic everything is. Not to mention, we're always running out of coffee, but since Trade conveniently delivers right to your door, you're never gonna have to go without your morning cup of coffee again. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters. How Trade works is super simple. Step one, take the quiz. Tell Trade how you like your coffee and they'll curate matches specifically for you. Step two, to your door. Choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear at your doorstep fresh from the roaster. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you'll love. Now the first 100 viewers to click the link below will get 30% off their first bag when they sign up, free shipping included. Now thanks again to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. Let's go flying. Gotta love nature's airplane wash. Get the bugs all wet. They come right off. Look at this. Like it's nothing. All right, it is go time. My first adventure, first true adventure in the Idaho backcountry. Ah! Welcome to Soldier Bar. This is like kind of my official first like backcountry strip, at least just out playing. Like I said, I've gone to a couple of the big ones filming back in the day, but it was the first time out here for fun. Soldier Bar's fun. I don't know, it's the terrain is so much different than what I'm used to being in these deep canyons. Like I've done a little bit of it in southern Utah and a little bit up here, but it's like you come around this corner totally blind and the strip looks short. It's not. It's like at least a thousand feet and it's so steep. I mean, you don't even touch your brakes, but um, it's just a little intimidation factor, but super beautiful. Welcome to Vines. Got another guy landing right now. I think that's that carbon cub, the sport cub. This thing's pretty narrow and it's yeah. funny with the river. It's it's insane how much downdraft you feel just from the cold air off the river. And I've always known that, but I've not, I don't think I've ever landed anywhere that had the river right on approach like that. And you just sink and then put it on, but power beautiful. On Nothing wrong with that, huh? No, it's gorgeous. God's country. All right, Vines, awesome little strip. I think a few of us are gonna jump and head over to Johnson Creek. Johnson Creek's like this iconic, long, beautiful grass strip. I've just never been there, so on to Johnson. Saying we're on the hey, internet. We're right on now? the internet. We're famous. That's Johnson funny. Creek web camera. <laughs> I see why everyone rants and raves about this place. Like perfect grass. Oh yeah, you can't like go good wrong. as a golf course. Yeah, they're saying a jet's come yeah. in and out so, of here. So. so here they have they have showers that are free. They have Wi-Fi. They have charging stations for your phone. They have coffee in the morning. Firewood. Firewood yeah, everything. for you. I mean, it is. They mow this thing and manicure it. The only wow. thing is, when you come in at certain times of the afternoon, especially, you got to be careful. They might be mowing it. Here comes Jake. Beautiful.
All right. We we're all wrapped up exploring here. Johnson Creek's beautiful, definitely on my list to come back, take the wife. Haley, when you're watching this, we're coming back and camping here. But anyway, we're gonna head back to Jeff's place and uh, see what other trouble we can get into. What'd you think, Joe? That was an awesome day. Oh, it was wow, so fun. Quite the spots. Yeah. Beautiful country. All right, so Nick's telling me they have a jet boat. What's the deal with this thing? Uh, like a 13 footer, 315 horse, uh, fast little, little uh, water, water skipper. And you're finding rapids and rocks? Yeah, rapids, rocks, whatever, gravel bars, run over them. All, <laughs> all, all good, so. All right, I'm excited. Look at this. This is where we're going. Huh? What are you looking for? Holes, leaks, anything bad. Those aren't good. Insane. Okay, so I just found out, aside from by air being helicopter, airplane, or jet boat, there's one other way that people have gotten supplies in here, like the older cabins. They would take a, a ATV, ride it on this tiny little goat path, and then cross the river on this trolley. So I wanna check that thing out. How much weight can this thing hold? We put a lot in it. Uh, we put probably four, yeah, we put four guys in it. This is, wait, you've done four? Yeah. <laughs> We'll try it. Go ahead. Wait, we'll try we'll it. That's try not it. A... Dude, I don't. What if we fall? Well, we're going swimming. All I can say is do not. Water. Do not grab the cable. Yeah. Don't grab the cable. Ready? Here we go. Oh man. <laughs> I love a whole bunch of pilots that are scared of heights. I, I am very scared of heights. I think it's rough air. Oh no, no. I know. I, I, I don't. I'd rather yeah. just hide in a coffin. I don't know what you're exactly. up there. I guess now I just go back. <laughs> we stopped a lot sooner. That'd help, but no, I don't have any way of going. I can't, I can't touch yeah. the cable. <laughs> no, <not> touch the <laughs> cable. I've seen very bad things happen. That cable touched me. <sighs> that thing's cool, man. <laughs> that thing's kind of rad. Didn't some of the neighbors, their whole cabin, they brought all the wood across on yeah. this thing? Lots of wood. Uh, not much concrete, but wood and uh, sheetrock, everything. Everything that, that they that they needed to build. Toilets. My dad. How epic is this? Sorry. Bumpy runway on the one wheel. But tell me this isn't just a little piece of heaven on earth. So it turns out there's eight cabins on this little uh, strip. It is a private strip, so you have to have uh, permission to come in and land here. So it's not just like anyone can come pop in. But uh, crazy thing is all these cabins that you're seeing in here were built on site with everything that had to come in via either airplane or helicopter or via a jet boat, which is super fascinating to me after having built my house and. I mean, frankly, I did it the easy way. Mine was a kit home. But even to pour like concrete out here, could you imagine that? You gotta bring every single bag of cement out on a jet boat and then get it off the river and up there and then mix it yourself with water from the river or from your well or whatever. Anyway, I got a lot of respect for the guys that build these kind of cabins way the heck out here. What is this? I don't know. 
something we started cooking <laughs> 15 years ago. Meet the man, me in command. Watch me climb. I guess they say all good things have to come to an end. And it is my time to get out of here. All the other guys are staying an extra day. I actually have a camping trip I'm supposed to be going to leaving tomorrow, which I'm gonna take you guys along for, and the wife's actually coming. But there's a whole bunch of wind forecasted, so I'm gonna have to get home and kind of analyze and reassess. But anyway, time to jump in the air. I got about four and a half hour flight home, one fuel stop. Let's get going. Just like that, back home, safe and sound. Landing here was actually mellow. But man, it's getting bumpy this time of the year, especially with this heat wave going on. It has gotten bumpy. That last hour and a half was just like getting my ass beat. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That one was a load of fun. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.